Hey guys, welcome back. Chapter 5 is about buying a new car. And uh, when you buy a new car that has a whole bunch of uh, uh, different amenities to it, they charge you for that. So like if you have navigation system or special floor mats or if it's automatic transmission versus a standard, which is, you know, like a stick. Um, maybe you want a beefier engine. They charge you extra for that. So... In this case here, if you take a look at the example, we have here is a sticker from the car that Gene wants. And here's the sticker here. It's some kind of sedan. The base price of it is 17010 And she wants the anti-theft and the six-cylinder engine, uh, remote keyless entry. She wants it to be an automatic and not a standard. Uh, special floor mats, air conditioning, and so forth. And, and what you're just going to do is, is you're going to add all the amenities plus whatever it costs to transport and handle the vehicle. And that's actually going to be your total price. So this is essentially a um, adding exercise. So we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, number one here. And it says uh, you're going to get a hatchback. And here is the base price. We're just going to add this going down. So we got um, 18869 plus 108 plus 178 plus 800 plus 59 plus 289 plus 115 plus 1099 plus 349 plus 89, plus 82, plus all the amenities. Then you're gonna to add to that the 445 for the um, transportation and handling of the vehicle. So you're gonna get 22,482 after you add all those up. So 22,482, and that'll be your total cost of the vehicle. Now this is without tax. You gotta pay tax on a car. And they don't have that on for these exercises, but if you look at you know, you turn the page, you get to try this, and has add seven percent to that car. And when you add seven percent, you would multiply by one point zero seven. Okay, because this is seven percent, and the one is just a shortcut. So if you add, if you multiply twenty-seven thousand five forty-two times one point zero seven. That's what you're going to get for your final cost of that vehicle. And that is buying a new car. Um, the next sheet over is just an exercise in adding. Go ahead and just uh, plow through that using the calculator. And that's it. We'll see you in the next section.